Right then, let's start off this World Cup icon campaign and let's have a look at 90 rated Miroslav, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, closer. Now, not only does he look good, he's one rating or two ratings better than his mid card, one rating less than his prime card, which is not in packs for another couple months still, but he's also gotten a skill move, his upgrade, he is four star, four star, high medium work rates, good pace, solid shooting, his passing is lacking a little bit, as well as his agility and balance, some nice reactions of 93, 94 hitting with 91 jumping and a power head a trait in the air he'll be absolutely phenomenal for the chemistry style i have gone for an engine bumps him up to 90 pace in game his shooting as it is is already more than good enough but it gives him that short passing boost although it's only a plus four from 78 to 82 it will definitely make a difference because passing is very important this year even with a striker you'll still find yourself passing quite a little bit with your striker with your cams with your other striker depending on the formation that you're using but also the engine offers that agility and balance boost from 78 agility and 73 balance to 82 agility and 81 balance make him a little bit nicer on the ball in game, we're going to be using him as the main man up top in a 4-2-3-1. Lionel Messi behind him, Freddy on the right with Neymar as the left cam. We're going to have him as a stay central, stay forward. So we're going to be using him as a proper target man, right? Let's get into a foot champs game. Let's see how he performs. Go on. Closest first touch of the ball. We give that pass through. Once again, that's our engine boost. As a striker in a 4-2-3-1, whether it's a two-striker formation, they do get involved with passes quite a bit closer. Takes the shot around. Nice fake shot around the defender. Gets the shot through. It's his four-star weak foot. Not a bad shot. It's just a good save. Unlucky not to be up there. Oh, close to stole it. It's a bit of a heavy tackle, though. And it's just gone out. That's unfortunate. Bro, he's low-key fast. Look at him dropping back, mate. That's 1-0. That's a beautiful goal. That could have very well been closer in that position. Um, but obviously, once closer, one back to actually win the ball originally. That was uh, Neymar in a position. So closer was kind of out of position a little bit. But hey, if closer, that's a butterfly effect. If closer didn't drop back and win that, well, it'd still be 0-0, wouldn't it? Here we are. Look at that run from closer. Take that touch. One more touch into the box. It's a little bit of heavy one. Messi cannot quite finish it, but that is very solid from closer. It's a good header from Hakimi. It's like ping pong right now. The ball is going back and forth. Back to closer. Around. Gets that shot through. Miroslav closer. Is that a little 15 minute rage quit? It is, isn't it? Is it? It is indeed. Very, very nice finish that, by the way. Phenomenal finish. Felt very assisted, if you will. I just kind of held it down a little bit. Aimed to the corner. Bang. Easy. Beautiful game one. Lovely R1 dribbling there. That's actually very, very nice. Very nice. Uh, the dribbling stat within the dribbling stat and ball control in play there. Felt very, very, very good. Especially for a tall man. Closer. Gets that pass through. Neymar. Touch. Probably should have gone near post, not far post. Go on. Close it. Bro, for a big man, that dribbling's not too bad. Bang. Oh, you know what? That could have easily been a goal. It probably should have been a goal. I feel like with them ones, that's my signature move. Pass it in the box, fake shot around, get that shot away. It's exactly what we tried in game one as well. And we keep getting so close, but yet so far. Like, I've scored a lot of goals from that this year. In fact, I'd say like 50, 60% of my goals I score actually do come from that. So we're very unlucky not to score from that exact maneuver. Not once, but twice today. Now, one thing I do notice, once he's a bigger type of player, a little bit slower on the turn, if you are trying to play like quick build-up play counter-attack like I was doing then, closer definitely obviously slows it down a little bit. Compared to like a, a, an agile Neymar, Messi, quick passing, build up play, get the ball, dribble, run. Obviously, closer is going to slow that down like he's kind of done a little bit now. So he is definitely kind of restricted to a bit more of a target man than a, uh, you know, secondary striker, dribble with it type of guy. That's not to say his dribbling actually isn't bad. If he has to dribble, he won't be awful as we've seen in previous clips. Go on. It's a little bit slow on the accelerate, but we got it through in the end. Bang. 
Really should have probably scored there. That would have been a uh, closer assist as well. It's a very end-to-end -end game here. We're getting our chances. We're just not taking them. Go on, back post. He's got the power header. It's to Neymar. We want it to go to closer, not Neymar. Unlucky, man. Very, very, very close first half, man. We've had our chances. We've had better chances than my opponent. Um, closer with a shot near post, which easily could have gone in. Um, an assist to Freddy as well. That easily, well, I say it wasn't an assist. It could have been an assist. We've had a couple good chances. Our XG one, yes. It's a bit painful, isn't it? We're just not taking our chances today, man. Oh, that's amazing. That is absolutely sensational. There we are. That's the chance that we wanted to take. Amazing dribbling, amazing ball control. We pressed the R1, or sorry, the R1 dribbling to kind of close ball control type of dribbling. You kind of tap it, reposition yourself. We did exactly that. Absolutely did the defender on his four-star weak foot, which you're always going to score from there when you are Miroslav closer. We've picked it up. We've picked it up just like that, boys. Is that, is that a rage quit as well? Absolutely beautiful if it is. We've picked it up. Like, I don't know. We're cashing in on our XG, but that was a very, very good game and closer, man. That's what we want. We saw some of the good. We saw some of the bad with this card. But all I can say, for 140,000 coins, it's a pretty good steal. But we'll, we'll get into that in the overall verdict shortly. As you can see, the pros and the cons highlighted in green. We've gone for high medium work rates, 4 star, 4 star with 90 acceleration, 92 positioning, 93 finishing, 86 shot power, 93 reactions, 94 heading, and 91 jumping. The only con we've gone for is the 73 balance. Mind you, if you do get an engine chemistry style on him, you can bump that all the way up to 81, which is a lot more respectable, but still closer, six foot tall, relatively low agility and balance. You could definitely tell he was a little bit heavier. And as I said, if you're playing quick, fast build up play, you will notice him slow down the play a little bit. You have to use this card and prioritize this man as a target man up top. He did very well. As I said, we, we saw some of the good, we saw some of the bad. We mentioned the bad and a little bit heavy, maybe slowing it down a little bit. But for good, his shooting, absolutely phenomenal. In game one, an 8.5 rating, one goal and zero assist. But he did get that one goal from only 0.8 XG. I say only. That means he is overperforming his expected goals, which is what you want to see. Now, the reason I have expected goals, expected assists in this end screen is because it's very important and it shows things that... You know, like, it makes it look a bit better than it does. For example, he's got two matches, two goals, but he easily could have had two matches, two goals, and two assists. If Lionel Messi scored his uh, first pass, which is the 0.5 expected assist he got in game one, Lionel Messi could have easily scored that. That would have been an assist. Game two, he got an 8.2 rating with one goal, zero assists once again. This time, his goal did come from 1.0 XG throughout the match, but he got 0.7 expected assists, which would have been his pass to Freddy. So once again, that's why I like having the expected assists, expected goals. First of all, the expected goals to see if he's overperforming it. Second of all, the expected assists just to show that, I mean, if I could have finished today, he very well easily could have had one or two assists on him, right? So it just doesn't look, two goals in two games doesn't look as attractive as two goals to assist in two games. But nonetheless, though, he did his job. He was a target man. He single-handedly won us that second game. Absolutely amazing dribbling, amazing ball control, great reactions, and an absolutely brilliant shot. For the overall verdict, I've gone for worth it, and I have gone for yes. For 130,000 coins, and he may drop even more. He's only been in packs for like three or four hours. I think this is an absolutely phenomenal card. I do want to say, though, you have to use him correctly. Use him as a lone target man and maybe a 4 2 3 1, or if you are using him in a two striker formation, I highly recommend to pair him up with a smaller, more agile player, like a Messi, like a Neymar. I mean, if you were to play Messi or a Neymar at a striker, if you're thinking small, agile strikers, smaller rec, you got hero, smaller rec could do the job. Players like that, smaller, agile, you got uh, out of position and Sufati, something along those lines, because that gives you the versatility. You've got the heavier player and closer, but you've also got a small, agile man. I would not recommend having a striker partnership of closer and Haaland or closer in Benzema because it's two relatively heavy strikers. So if you do play him in a two striker, have him with a small agile man up top. But all in all though, 130k, use him as a target man. If you use him correctly, he is 100% worth it. If you use him incorrectly, then you'll start seeing some issues. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give him a 9.5 out of 10. I hope you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy Davis and I'll see you in the next one.